Hello, welcome back. This is another pickup, and this time it's a big load of pickup. So let's get into it. With no more delays. Again, non gaming stuff. It's going to be a bit of a mixture this time. One pound. 49 in a charity shop just got a lanyard but it's one of bleach i don't know if you can that's coming out properly um i've got back into watching it again thanks to disney plus they actually have it on there yeah there's the characters so yeah just a lanyard i do collect lanyards it's sad but it's something um, I bought an Ed Sheeran album number six because on this album they've got Take Me Back to London and I, I do like that song so there's a couple other songs I like but I mainly got it for that um, Virgin, not Virgin, HMV so that's why it's the price it is and I, I don't know if it's the latest one but I got the Lady Gaga album for the rain on me i do like that one so i've got those two right in a charity shop for 3.99 let's take the receipt out i got sim city on the ds so i did like it back in the day on the super nintendo so yes, I'm hoping it's going to be very similar. I mean, today they've altered it so much, it's not what it used to be. But yeah, it helps out charity as well. Um, that was from the same charity shop. And I bought something else, I can't remember what, but I rounded it up. It was like £6, so I rounded it up to 7 Seems to be the thing to do now, rounding it up. Right. Uh, a very expensive game, but very hard to come by. Dynamite Cop for the Dreamcast. I didn't even think this came out in this country. I thought it was a US release only. So yeah, I'll definitely be playing that. Hopefully I can hook up me Dreamcast to the catcher card and play it that way. There's one with zombies that you go around very similar style to this so i want to try and get that it's a shame the die hard beat em up like this didn't come out on the dreamcast it came out on the sega saturn and i'm i'm not going to buy a saturn so yeah i look forward to playing that one right uh let's get on with the playstation 2 games noble racing i know nothing about this but I obviously don't have it, that's why I bought it. It's a racing game, so it's either go have nice controls or handle really bad. So it's all there. Um, obviously, as you can see, I left the price on um, from CX. Some people were like, do you leave the price on to show off? No, I just leave it on so you know how much to either pay or how much you sell your copy for. Because they roughly go by eBay prices. So you've got that. That won't stay. I'll tell you that now. That'll fall over. i got YC Girls. From Konami. Um, I can't remember. But one of the videos i done. They do a, a play of this. So if you want to see that. I think it's one of the early ones. I did not know it was a double disc. So you got two discs. So it should be a fairly big game then. So got that. I hate when they put that when they write on it. You can see that a P on there and a P on there. I don't know how to get that off without ruining this, so I'll have to look into that. But yeah, they never done any sequels or anything, so it's probably why the price it is at twenty eight because there's no sequels ruining the quality of the first one because it's meant to be quite good so got that I can easily oh no that's on the inside I thought that was on the outside anyway moving on to a game I did have years ago got rid of it 
but like I say, I'm collecting again. Got this from GM Games in Taunton. Warhammer Fire Warrior. So yeah, it's a first person shooter. Um, the other first person shooter they done was really quite hard. Um, I prefer Space Marines, but like so, oh, what's that? That's a thick postcode if it's still going, that actual address and booklet on it all. There you go, if you also I'm in Japanese if you know that. I'm not into the figurines, sorry to upset people, but the games they do, yes, I do like Warhammer games. There is a new one coming out. I think I can play that on Xbox One, so I'll probably be buying that one. World World Racing um, for £1.50. Again, I saw this on the um, trailers, uh, DVDs and that. So, yeah. I did like the looks they showed on it and they done a, I think it was on the first Play Nation they done a decent amount of footage on it. But yeah, that's not too bad. Again, it looked like it handled quite well. I might try and save up and buy that Formula One racing game. Let's see how it goes. Um, back to GM Games. All this was in Tall and the GM Games. Ford versus Chevy. I think there's at least three of these ones. But yeah, what I've seen is pretty good. Again, it, they're racing. I, as you can see, I like me racing and shooting. So yeah, the other game is what? S uh, THQ, I think. Or where you can evolve the two chasing and shooting. Anyway, got that one going off the side. I don't know if this is the terrible one, but I got Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. It looks pretty good, like an early carbon on the back. Um, okay, again, by Nanko Bandai, they seem to do all the Fast and Furious, but there's one that's really bad. Uh, I don't know what one that is, but I'll try and look for that one. But yeah, Fast and Furious Racing, 10 quid, that's quite expensive really. Total Overdose. This game is mental when my friend played it. He had the Xbox version. I've got a PSP version, but I've got this to put on a big screen. Even though I can do the PSP, it's easier to do this. So yeah, it's all there, rated 18. So not for young children, but yeah, it's melt. You go around shooting, diving everywhere. It's early mechanics of the stuff, but it, it works. One that's on the videos and they warned me not to get, but I saw it in a charity shop. The Bouncer. So, yeah, it's a lot of FMVs, apparently. So, they say to complete it four times to unlock characters. I'll probably play it first time and not record it. To build up the ability so I can go through second time a lot easier. So, yeah, got the bouncer again by Square Enix. There's a receipt, but yep, yeah, it's all there. 150 for that. And what else have we got? I've got it somewhere anyway, but I can't find it. Of Star Ocean bonus disc. So, yeah, I've got it somewhere. But I don't know where. So I bought it again. It's only two quid. So that's not bad. And I do like these really thin cases. But yeah, I'll put that up. But like I say, I have got it somewhere. But I can't find it. Splashdown 2. So a jet game. I mean, you've got dinosaurs and that. So I think it may have been called something out in America. Because I'm pretty sure there's another game like this with dinosaurs in the part. But I'm pretty sure it may be called something else. But yeah, I've got that one. And that was three quid for that one. Oh, there they go. Um, eBay. I managed to get 
Games Master disc. Um, the other one, the 10th anniversary, I'm not paying 40 quid for it, so that can stay. But this one's covering all three consoles Mario on PlayStation 2, exclamation mark, Grand Theft Auto on Xbox, so forth. So, yeah, when this one comes on there, you have multiple things, not just PlayStation or Xbox. And the inside, pretty boring, but yeah. Good old Games Master when it used to be good. Cobra 11 Hot Pursuit. To me, that looks like a crash time um, screen. Or at least the explosion with the car, if you know what crash time looks like. This is four quid. It looks already on the back bad. So I got it volume two. So there's a volume one out there somewhere. But it's not Phoenix game, but it don't look far short of a Phoenix game. But yeah, four quid for that. I reckon that's going to be pretty pants. But I'll still play it, obviously. One game that I put off a while because I, I swear I had it, which I don't, for 350. Ridge Racer 5. So that uh definitely be going up. I'll try and get back to the PSP one, but I don't know when that would be for that one. Good old Ridge Racer. I don't know the courses on this one, but it won't take long to learn it. At least it's not that Ridge Racer R, where it's evolved or something. So, yeah. Good old style Ridge Racer. I do play that at the arcade as well. Well, not Ridge Racer 5, but Ridge Racer. The King of the Road 66. So, like 18-wheeler, but the next one will go again by Sega. The other one was done by Sega but the label covered it up. So yeah, I don't know how mental that's going to be. Right, that's from that side. Um, eBay people, they're really stepping up their game lately. I've ordered a bunch of this and this is how it arrived. It arrived in this packaging but they all arrived like this. Nicely sealed and all together so they've got those two and then another lot of Xbox worlds with Bioshock and that these are all becoming after I've done the original Xbox ones because obviously that's a step up and I've got some Xbox vision with Halo and that I still got one on uh, with 17 hours to go before I win that so there might be a Actual one, and then back to Xbox World. So, yeah, like I say, eBay people are stepping it up. And I've got a PlayStation 3 one, and again, in a little bag, it's very nice. So, again, all the PSP, PS2, and PS3 ones. Let's put that to one side. I've also been buying. Um, bonus discs I've got a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood I've got the they're either stickers or cards I don't know I haven't opened it's not opened so I'm not going to open it I've got Brotherhood the bonus discs so it says um, video and artwork so let's straighten that out so I don't know what type of video it is if it's making of or trailer got the game soundtrack obviously I won't be putting up the soundtrack but the video I will and that's got 22 songs on there you got the map uh, I'll fold it out but it is basically we've got a double sided one Got that it says Brotherhood, oh, wobble screen, and on the back it's just a big version of what it is. So, I mean, if you're an Assassin's Creed fan and you haven't got the map to pin up on your wall, that's how you get it. And um, this one, I have well, it has been opened, or you can open it, and I was looking at the cards. For these people dive into it real deep this came out brotherhood 
Now they've only just done, I think it's Odyssey, one in Egypt. So if these are anything to go by, you're getting a preview of maybe what's further down the line. Obviously standard picture. Reason why I say that, you got, yeah, that one, is because this one here with the female. Yes, they've done the female one, but not one like that. It was a totally different one. And that one, sunglasses on the horse. But here, if you look at his sword in the future. So, is there an Assassin's Creed that's going to be set in the future eventually? I know it's just artwork and all these people dig into it. But like I said, we eventually got one in Egypt. Who's to say there's not going to be one set in the future? It could easily happen. But yes, we've got that. Right, second pile. I bought Demon Slayers, the movie. So I'm watching that on Netflix at the moment, enjoying it. So there's a the movie. Um, there was two other animes I didn't pick up. It's um, Assassin's School and Assassin's School Movie. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to see that, that's quite good i've only seen episode one and maybe two of assassin's school but yeah it's worth getting eventually got it but i had to get it in insane games in wales um, wales cathedral so if you, it's quite hidden the shop if you find the church it's pretty much near the church the game shop not near the cathedral demon says for the switch so yes 44 99 they had it no problem so yes i'll use that um there's codes i've used the codes to get the character there's never really much on a switch one but yes managed to get it at last darius i've actually remembered the name this time hd so 24 quid for that one um there's three different ones i've got the other one where i couldn't remember the name of it and this is the other one. I don't know what it is with the big fishes. So I'm going to have to look that up. Why you shoot big fishes. But yep. You've got a decent cover in there. Inside label. Um, this one. Which is what I would like if all of them done. Tells you the buttons. That's all you need. But yeah. Got the game in there. And I managed to actually get it in game. They actually had a game I want. So if oh, we don't have it, Metroid Prime. Now I've already owned this on the GameCube, but like a lot of people say, the controls are awkward. So hopefully, being modernised up controls, I'll be using the gamepad. Um, so hopefully, be a lot easier, and I might be able to get a lot further enjoying it more. So we've got that one. Let's bang that there. Atomic Heart. I think that's correct. This is another one um, from MG Games. But new. No, that's why it's got that colour label. This is the one I was saying about with the bloke. Normally there's a robot behind. So that's a different cover. But the thing is. Game didn't have it. Went in there. Had it no problem. So yes. It's a first person shooter. I will be playing that. Haven't installed it yet. So it should. Yes. Yeah, the should be in there redeem code for something it's all right i'll put these codes in before you lot do even though i showed it so yeah got that a gun so yeah right dakar 2 i played this on the gamecube so yeah that was a long time ago so hopefully the playstation um, should be just as good years ago me and me mate had a race he chose the vehicle I chose the bike it's quite funny the reason why I like Dakar too he went upside the hill toppled over but the whole car balanced on the biker's head and I was driving him for a while on top of my head so that I thought was pretty funny so yeah Dakar that was only 150 for that BCV Battle Construction Vehicles. It looks mental. One pound for this. But it looks like you're on construction sites with construction vehicles going at each other. 
I mean, look, over the top explosions and everything. So, yeah, that I reckon is going to be a good half hour laugh or however long it takes to complete. X, I'm sorry, MX S Superfly. Again, I have no idea what this is. Two quid, again, from Insane Games. Just racing game, but it looks like there's parts in built where you take part in the street and that. So, yeah, give that a go. THQ. One that is on the video, the freaky skids and that. So, there is a long video of this one. Um, I think again on a Play Nation one. So yeah, they rec they said it's like tricky, but with bikes. So it can't be that bad. Again, done by EA, and that was four quid at insane games i think i've got them all now uh, again recently there was a video of gran turismo and it's 2002 tokyo gym so three quid for this one it's not a full game it is a short little game so yeah i'll probably play it and if i'm fit good at it or get the controls to how I like it or carry on and film it but yeah I think I've got all of them now except for modern ones for PlayStation 4 and 5 the path of Neo for three quid this takes part I think after the film or like during the film and the end of it so yeah it's slightly better than Enter the Matrix. They've improved since that one. But you obviously got the bullet time. Everything that made the Matrix famous. The fight at the end I know definitely got changed. Because I used to own this on the Xbox. I might still have it on the Xbox. I don't know. But I don't have my Xbox hooked up. So that one. Uh, right. These ones you already know about. I've bought a, a case to put them all in. But the new ones are Soul Calibur 4. I don't know if that's footage, artwork, or what. Obviously, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Tomb Raider Underworld. There's another. It's either Tomb Raider Anniversary or something else that has a bonus disc. When that's going cheap, I'll buy that. Um, there's a Resident Evil 5 one I want. That is actually going cheap at £1.60. But they want £17 postage and packaging. Just It's not going to cost almost 20 quid just to send the disc. So, yeah, that's going to stay there at that price. Those who are anywhere between 9 to 10 years of age aren't going to remember Blockbusters. It used to be before Netflix and everything, you could rent your videos. Then they moved into gaming, so you can rent your games and... Well, not everyone took them back. And, of course, you would only have to pay a late fee because they, it was, wasn't was a direct debit. If they'd done that, they could have kept charging the person for every day it's late. But, yeah, they've done games. And this is their cheat code thing for it. I don't know if it works. Some work in the PlayStation, some don't. But £5 off, if, you could, if that's still valid, I doubt it. But, yeah, 50 big games there, so... I'll see if it makes some games fun and I'll save that to a separate memory card like I said I would but yeah probably game freaks no game junkies in it keeps advertising that for right the other pile now get in there Super Mario Galaxy 2 it's not the official game it's just a, a 24 minute approximately 24 minutes and then it says 24 minutes trailer of making of it and i assume a little bit of footage so yeah we've got that and on to the little discs i've got xbox vision with black ops and the back obviously it's not always interesting xbox world with mass effect 3 this came as a bundle this lot so i did get some I um, already bought I bought the other one earlier so of course I've got this on a double because it's in the bundle that's uh, shot 2 obviously Halo 3 Rupture and all that stuff so 
we go and crackdown two this is a five part comic series apparently so i can put one episode on instead of showing it all in one go depending on how long it is so that can be either spread out or in one go and for the modern consoles xbox one so yes we'll go kick it up a next generation that actually is a part of the magazine but i don't know how to pick that i picked most of it off but i don't know how to pick this off without ruining the back so i'm going to leave it as it is it's not the actual see see that peel in there so it's not the actual case it's what was on the magazine so it's not too bad uh mario and rabbits spoke spark of hope 28 quid so yeah i uh, got the first one um the codes have been used in this for the special abilities but yeah it's like um xcom things like that so it's not bad i haven't played the first one i got it cheap so i thought well seeing this is going cheap now for the digital version they want 50 odd quid I've also bought, let's take the receipt out for this one. And I've already used the codes on this, but yes, Doom. And yeah, it comes with, I used codes thinking, because normally they put no DLC. It wasn't on there, so I thought, I'll give the codes a go, and yes, it works. And I already bought Doom 3 for the Switch, so I ended up with Doom, Doom 2, Doom 64, and the 2016 Doom, which I do like. But yeah, in here is the codes. Nothing fantastic. And then you had to use the codes and that that's on there. So yeah, I got that finally. Um, found some fairly cheap. NGC TV, Nintendo GameCube TV. I say these are either very expensive Nintendo ones or hard to come by. So yeah, got that. Nothing special inside. But yeah, good old Resident Evil 4 when it first came out before PlayStation 2 and everything else. So that's issue number, well, 96 in 2004. So I'll put the details up if they put them there like I have done. Tokyo Game Show 2005, so yeah, again, I don't know what that's to go, if he put, the person put it on, or if it was on there, but yeah, red case, which is a bit weird, so yeah, another cute, I don't know what is with the dogs, got a cute dog there, and then a little pug on the front, so yeah, I don't think it gives a running time on that one, but It'd be what be either be half an hour or an hour. Another cute one, the beautiful Joe Two. Again, backs are always boring, but yeah, obviously you got your cheats for Donkey Konga, X Men, and FIFA, and then the main one that I bought for the video disc. So yeah, you got your beautiful Joe Metroid. Mario Power Tennis and Killer7, which was a weird game. Got Wrestling, Day of Reckoning. I mean, you look a very young Paul White there. Flair, before he goes red and get a uh, young Dave, who you might recognise from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Randy Orton, who's obviously done like 12 rounds two, I think it was. And again, boring back. And yeah, very young Paul White there, who's now over on AEW. Another one with Zelda this time, and some E3 stuff, which I do believe this year has been cancelled. Again, boring back, double discs, but this time it's a small one, not a big one, and you've got your action replay stuff. This one, where is it? I've 
they sent me the game as well which I'm grateful for but I didn't need the game got Alan Wake the, so basically there's your actual game and codes hope I've picked up the yeah that's the game but nothing on the back which is very weird but it's not the game I wanted to show you it's this so yeah you get the soundtrack which they advertised and the bonus disc so footage that's what they advertised so I was quite surprised when the game came as well so yeah I'll be putting that video up eventually you know all these eventually go up I don't know why I keep mentioning it back when game was good and I mean when they first started up and didn't sell Scalectrics and t-shirts and Lego stuff and board games they brought out videos like this Eternal Darkness um, obviously the game logo that's what is over here it's known as GameStop in America um, I've got the Wesker one I've got the Resident Evil collection I think it's called uh, obviously I've got this from game there's a Tomb Raider one I need to get but it's a bit pricey at the moment so that's a save up but yeah when game used to do good stuff like this the Wesker report came with the code Veronica for the PlayStation 2 but yeah I uh, don't think it gives a running time of this one no it doesn't so if you know what eternal darkness is it it really mucks up with you I ain't gonna spoil it for those who do it um, if you're thinking of buying eternal darkness don't look up reviews because it'll spoil so much of it for you but yeah you've got your special features apparently so yeah eternal darkness that wasn't that price at 2.99 I paid a bit more on that so whoever sold it made a profit right this one I think is quite funny I got a, a play one but an actual thank you I mean again like I say eBay people are stepping up by sending thank you cards for the stuff that you buy play obviously Bioshock Infinite that's the third one so that'll be up there that's quite high in the collection number Oh, without my glasses it's 120 minutes issue 200 there you go it's up there I didn't need them for that I wear them anyway but yeah like I say that's very thoughtful of them right on to Assassin's Creed Embers so this is a CGI movie set towards the end of Ezio I think it's only 20 something odd minutes long uh, other people have put up I went to see and they have so there's no reason why YouTube should stop me if there's others who've done it so if you haven't seen it you can watch theirs or wait for me to put one up but yeah I got that cheap but this one I have problems saying Assassin's Creed lineage please feel free in the comments to rip on me for not able to say it properly but yeah this back in the day was on the Xbox 360 to download when they done their videos so if you're lucky enough you might still have it on your Xbox 360 but it's no longer available so to get it is here um, some people want 30 quid for this some want 40 so it is a ridiculous price it's all done with real actors it's only 36 minutes long but yeah um, you probably again can look this up on YouTube but I say it was on the Xbox 360 to download um, if I can get mine to do it I'll put the links ones that they done up with Keely Hazel and I'll put the because you had options A or B I'll put them both up so you can see it all but yeah Assassin's Creed Um, the original I think PlayStation 2 welcome disc type thing so it's got a couple of games on there the FIFA um, SX board in um, dead or alive and there's gonna be some videos on there so I managed to get that cheap that came also with one that I never knew the PlayStation 
uh, done by the Sun, well, PlayStation 2. So I never know the Sun newspaper got involved in it. And obviously the Sun ain't what it used to, but yeah, game, when it used to be good. So yeah, obviously they helped or done something to get involved. Um, back in the days, a lot of people got it just for page three, but that's an old thing they don't do anymore. You have to look up about that. I'm sure someone's put online. Metroid, two hours on this one. So that's Nintendo stepping it up. It's not official Nintendo, but yeah, you got that one. I've already put one up with Metroid, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, they're not bad, these ones. Obviously, I prefer the cubes, but they're not bad. So let's bung that there. I don't know if that's correct order or not. One I got cheap. And people think it's worth, um, I don't mind the other price of 11 quid, but someone reckons it's worth 80 quid, which it is not. Star Fox Adventure. Now this is sealed, it wasn't advertised as sealed. So eventually, I will be breaking the seal. Some people may say, no, order the other one. But I ain't gonna order another one if I've already got it. And if I don't break the seal, I'm never gonna be able to watch it. So yeah. This was going to be called Dinosaur Planet. Again, see, game, when they used to be good. You was originally called Dinosaur Planet. A lot of people know that. And they changed it to Fox. In fact, the character was a fox anyway. But they changed it to, as we know, Fox McCloud. So, yeah. I haven't... I think I got this, but I want Star Fox Assault. The one where it's a flying one on the GameCube. But, again, that's very pricey. Towards the end now, I got uh, Xbox World. This one apparently 4.5 hours. So that's definitely go be a, a two-parter. All on one disc, but the disc is double-sided. So there's side A. Don't think we've got a little picture of Master Chief. Don't know if you can see that very well. I'm looking on the small screen on the back. No, nothing on the other side. You also see my reflection. So yeah, you got that. So yeah. And then finally Game Boy Advance cases. Um, just three of them, but I went in CX. Not CX, um insane game. Yeah, a bag load of Game Boy and Game Gear cases. So yeah, I got all of those. And that was quite a, I mean, they wasn't that price at two quid. So yeah, I've got plenty of cases now, hopefully. I don't know why people chucked them out. But yeah, that is the big haul I've got. Um, I don't know when the next one's going to be. I really don't. But until then, thank you for watching this and hope you enjoy it and i hope to play all those these you know are definitely going to get played the trailers and that but all those that'll be when i get around to doing it but yeah there's bank holiday coming up soon so one of these gamecube ones will be up and um, that's the bank holiday monday all right thank you for watching and to next time take care bye